Hi once again, um, time for a chat. This is episode number 14 in my new series and it's on the theme of self-mastery but today I'm going to talk about um, getting upset too easily. If you're getting triggered or upset by what's going on and particularly during this time of um, challenge as I've been calling it an interesting experience we're going through with the quarantining in place and all that sort of stuff that's going on and this is right in the middle of the journey. I thought it'd be time to talk about this triggering thing that's been happening because I posted something today, actually last night, that blew up like nothing I've ever seen before, creating a lot of reaction and response from people. Some people responded and some people reacted. And I've talked about this before, but I want to break this down because it's so clear that some people are missing the bigger message. Yes, there's a bigger message here. <laughs> Hi, Dutch. It's good to see you. So let me just explain a little bit before I get too much farther into this. Um, this series of talks I started again early March, right before the shutdown, in fact, talking about what I call self-mastery, because self-mastery is an umbrella for things that I would talk about. I talked about self-love a lot the last two years, but even more, I'm talking about how to navigate this world from a self-autonomous and self-supportive place. That's what self-mastery is to me. It's not being bossy and pushing around. It's about really being aligned to your true values. And lately, <laughs> lately, I tell Lisa, nice to see you, there's been a huge amount of... Um, Emotional ping pong going on. I'm being polite. There's people, and, and again, I put a post up last night. I'm probably going to take it down now because it's really upset some people. And I'm not, well, I'm not, I don't intend to propagate upset. But what I posted triggered a lot of people. And, and the thing is, I didn't put it out saying, I believe it. I just said, like, a question, like, this is what I saw. What do you think of it? But boy, the vitriol and the anger and the judgment and the upset that came out of it. I'm sitting, I'm not, I'm, I'm, I was saying, I'm, I'm stunned, but I'm not, because I know better. But I'm watching people in other parts, this, this just was on my wall today on Facebook. But I'm watching things happen in the world, like with the protests that happened in Wisconsin and in Huntington Beach. And in, I think they had one in Hermosa Beach this week, uh, a couple of weeks ago. And all the, the reactivity that's going on. We're going to talk about it. Because the thing is, yes, there is a global pandemic, which is really amorphous because none of us are seeing what's really going on. Yes, there are people who are getting sick, there are people who have died, and they keep adjusting the numbers because some of the people who died were blamed, were blamed, excuse me, the um, doctors blamed COVID for the cause, but a lot of times it wasn't that. Now, I'm not going to go down that path, I don't want to get in the middle of that, I want to, talk about more, I want to, I want to move the conversation higher up, elevate it slightly out of the, um, the media frenzy. Because <laughs> boy, has it been stirring people up. And in fact, again, uh, what happened on, the, on my wall today from post last night about mask wearing, again, not getting into the conversation, but the reactivity and the, the name calling that came out of that was very disheartening. Yes, there are people who believe one thing, believe another. And I, stay, I attempted to stay neutral in the whole thing because I didn't have an opinion one way or the other at the time. I'm just very aware there's pluses and minuses on both sides. But the antagonism and the arguments and the judgments and the blame and the, and the resentments and everything that showed up in the comments... It's like I dropped a bomb in someone's lap. And, and of course, it, on one part, it was like, oh, my God. And the other part was like, oh, crap, as an amusement. Sidebar for a second. Um, yesterday, um, on the Agape um, live stream, you know, I, I go to Agape Spiritual Center. Michael, Reverend Michael talks about um, levity is one of the core values of raising yourself above in this journey. Levity being joy, being humor, being lightheartedness. And that post today, for more than anything else, triggered laughter in me not at anybody but just the this the well the insanity people are playing in so i'm going to ask you this question for you to consider for yourself is are you finding yourself being upset triggered reactive to things that are happening out there either in response to what you're doing or saying or things you're noticing in the world that you feel upset by because if you are there's something you can do about it and, uh, and I'm going to play with this on two levels, I think. We'll see. This, By the way, these, these talks are never scripted. <laughs> they are just simply um, what's raw and real for me right now. And again, this is one of those topics. And for, for me, what the big thing is, and what I've been talking about in, in self-mastery and what I'm teaching in my self-mastery mentorship, and I'll put the link at the end so you can check it out, is how to navigate the world from a place of response to what's happening versus reactivity. Because one of the fundamental pieces that I talk about in this work is that we are trained by our culture to be codependent in romantic relationships in business relationships in family relationships in even in marketing relationships there's a codependency inherent in how we work because somehow something out there is either going to fix it for us 
or is upsetting us in this context, or is going to be the answer to our prayers or something. Um, sorry to break it to you, but none of that's going to happen. Because all the power, all the choices, all the um, abilities reside in you. Yes, reside in you. Not me, you. <laughs> so let me explain a little bit. And I'm using the contrast of a response versus reactivity to explain it in more detail. Because reactivity usually comes from a place without any, um, not filter is the wrong word, but without any sense of, of um, <laughs> free will. <laughs> reactivity is often so, you're, you're triggered so quickly that you're not even thinking what you're doing before you're already jumping in and doing something, saying something, chewing somebody out, complaining, judging, etc., etc., which was what happened on the post on my wall. Response on the other side is where you actually get to consider how you want to respond. And, and, and again, another sidebar. Um, I've been diving into the human design conversation for the last several months, actually. One of my teachers I studied with, Beth Davis, said some great stuff to me in one of the contexts. And in my chart, if you ever start a human design, I recommend it, by the way. One of the core values for me to be most effective is to respond. That's why it's so much of my awareness now. Because the truth is, the way that my um, human design chart is laid out is that that if I go, if I jump into things too quickly, I'll generally mess up. And I've got a track record of proving that because I reacted to things. So it's an ability to respond. And I recommend it as everybody's tool because when you don't learn to stop, and it's kind of the idea of like, you know, don't get angry, count to 10. But in a simpler way, it's more important than that is how do you cut back to yourself? So when something happens out there, you get to look at it and go, how do I respond to that? I've had that happen a lot recently for myself because the thing is that the reactivity that I had in the past, thankfully, no longer runs the ship. Partly because I've learned tools to work with it and also maybe with the maturity, <laughs> getting a little bit more wisdom under my belt, is learning how to be more, um, to elevate, to have a higher level of awareness, so to speak. Not comparatively, just a higher level of awareness to what I was before. So I can see how things can play out and how I choose to play out. The thing about reactivity, as I mentioned earlier, and I'll explain more detail, is it's a, it's a cornerstone of codependency. Codependency, again, is the, is the presumption that somebody else, something else, or something out there has dominion, power, control, and the ability to do what we want. Because anytime you put pressure on something else out there to do something for you, you're giving it your power. Yes, you're giving your power away. This is the disownment of our own power we're doing this from. When you come back to autonomy and you have response ability, the ability to respond, you're in a much more cohesive place. So when things happen out there, you're not pushed back and forward like a ping pong ball. Reactivity is is the presumptive way that we that people want us to be. Because when we're in, in reactivity, they can control us. The media, the politicians, the bank, the IRS, police, etc., etc. You know the drill, the whole list. When you give your power to somebody else to react to what they say, you're no longer in control. And that, frankly, 90% of the time, doesn't work out for the best. I know for myself, I've been very clear that in my life now, the more I do things, I come from a place of choice. And that's part of this, by the way. Learning to how to respond versus react is a choice. Because you can be reactive if you want to be. But if you shift into responsiveness and you choose to how you want to respond, then the um, upset experiences no longer affect you as much. You become more autonomous. Hi, Christina. Nice to see you. You learn to be much more in, I don't want to use the word control, but you learn to be in more management, I'll put it that way, of your own dominion, your own feelings, your own responsiveness. Because there's so much in the world currently with the media and social media especially, where the, um, the trigger happy experience is right there. Like you, it's like, <laughs> in a way, it's like walking on landmines, energetically speaking. And you end up in this place where you are getting blown to bits by other people's vitriol, upset, and hurt feelings. And I saw that happening again on my post earlier today. It gave me cause, pause for thought. And I've been sitting with whether I want to delete the post or not. I'm certainly going to message some of these people who've been reactive to say, look, I'm going to separate this friendship because it's not working for me. That's a choice I might make. But this is the thing. is when you have this choice, you have your freedom. Because when you have choice, you have the ability to choose for yourself. And rather than being in reactivity, we don't have any choice. Reactivity, as I said, is giving your power to something else. That thing you're reacting to. Again, person, thing, situation, circumstance, whatever it is. When you remember that you have choice, you can actually stop time, so to speak. 
Because what you're doing when you're standing back into your truth is you're finding yourself in a place where you have dominion over your choices. That's a good word, dominion. I like that word. And so understanding that is where things shift. So I'm offering you the th to consider this for yourself. And again, I'll put the link in the comments at the end if you want to check it out. Myself and Mastery Mentorship has started up. It's an ongoing support system, support group, and it just started out, so it's brand new, and you can join if you want. But here's the thing I want to invite you to look at, is when things happen around you, whether it's an email that drops in your inbox, or a text from somebody, or a phone call, or because um, there isn't much in-person meeting, or something you see on the media or the, on the news. Watch how you respond, or how, watch what you do, let me say it that way, because you may be responding or you may be reacting. And when you see some of the news that goes, oh, no, not that, check yourself. When somebody says something or a text comes through and your heart drops, or you or get a lump in your throat, whatever it is, those are your signposts, your indicators that maybe something else you can do. You can choose to respond versus react. I've done this talk before about that theme, but when you talk about the upsets happening right now, those disturbed feelings, those those triggers, those things that are getting emotionally out of whack, this is happening a lot more recently. Which I'm, why I'm so adamant about talking about it. So my encouragement, my um, invitation is to raise your own standards in terms of how you choose to respond to life. Because life is an adventure. And again, as Reverend Michael said on Sunday, bringing levity to your life is part of the key. Not to laugh at things, but to really more laugh at with yourself, to be in a place of joy, of upliftment, of positivity. Because frankly, life can suck otherwise. So this is my little encouragement. If you haven't seen my talks before, I do this every, I do these randomly now. I used to do them every day, not so much now, but randomly. <clears throat> but if you want to find out more about work, reach out and message me. Again, I'll put the link in the comments for my self-mastery um, mentorship. If you want to find out directly, you can go to barrysubby.com forward slash self-mastery and check it out. It's already started. You can join now as a monthly member or annual member and get more deep, direct, and supportive information and guidance to make your life more joy-filled. Um, if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. I, I appreciate the, the, your feedback, input, and response. Thank you for the love. Um, and take this to heart. Your life is your choice. You can be, um, what's we're looking for? Free to choose how you want to live. What was it you said, Christine? Let me see your comment there. It's a trigger happy time indeed. Hard for you to, hard for you to even be in social media, watch the news. Well, and thank you for this reminder and encouragement. You're very welcome, Christina. I understand exactly. And that post I put up last night has definitely, um, <laughs> Put a put a put a put a wolf, put a, uh, a wolf among the ki the ki chicken something like that yes oh thank you Christina I miss you too and I would love to love to offer you a, faint, a real hug when it's safe to do so masks gone six feet distance gone we're back to back we're not back to we're in the new normal so yes when that happens I'd love to so yes some point in the future count on it that's that that'll be in my calendar moving depending on what we can do so <laughs> with all that said I thank you for watching my broadcast uh, by the way. If you're watching this on YouTube, because this does get put onto YouTube afterwards, it's Facebook Live, and so comments I'm responding to, I tended to read out, so that way that you'll know what I'm talking about, or talking to. Questions, comments, please let me know in the comments. Reach out to me on social media if you want some help. Um, I invite you to join myself in my stream mentorship, because it rocks. I'll be supporting you over the next year. Um, beyond this experience we're going through, you know, this interesting experience. And uh, I think that's about it. It's been a while since I've done a talk. I'll do another one soon. I've got some few other topics brewing around self-mastery, so I'll offer you some more ideas. So keep track, follow me, like my pay, like my uh, posts. Oh, this was not my business page, shucks, oh well. <coughs> find, follow, find me on business page and follow me there too. Um, with that, I thank you for watching. Um, that's about it, I think. If you have any questions, again, comments, let me know. If you want to reach out to me, feel free to do so. Somebody's dinging me. And as always, as a reminder, <coughs> a fundamental tip of self-mastery is this. Please take care of yourself. Doing that changes everything. And I don't mean this just on your health. I'm talking about emotional and mental as well. That's part of what Self Mastery is about. Again, you want help? Message me. With that, thank you for watching. I'll see you again some other point in time. Definitely see you on social media. Um, Facebook Lives are more random right now. But I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye.